Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. What we're going to look at today is the Irish Army, Irish Defence Forces, Beret and Cat Badge. So what we're going to do is we will take it off the mannequin's head and lay it flat on the table so we can have a quick look at it. So now we have the Beret off of the uh, mannequin's head. So I was doing um, some history on this and I was looking into it. Now, I do know information about this, having a bit of background serving in the Irish Defence Forces, but we were always told that the black of the actual beret was in mourning for the people that have died for Ireland, and the red was for the blood they had spilt. But when I actually went to look for the official uh, guideline on what the actual colours mean, I couldn't find one. I could find lots of history about the cat badge which we'll talk about now in a second but nothing actually about the actual colours of the bray but that's what we were told that the black was in mourning for the people that had died and the red was for the blood that they had spilt the uh, cat badge so I'm going to have a, a little pen here to point out things it makes it a bit easier for me okay so the actual cat badge itself was designed by a guy by the name of Owen McNeil and Owen McNeil was the chairman of the Irish Volunteers. Now I'm not going to go into the history of the Irish Volunteers, maybe at a later date I will, but you can look it also up yourself. So O McNeil was the chairman of the Irish Volunteers. It was designed around October 1914 and the basically to cut a long story short, when the war of independence between Ireland and England um, kicked off in 1916, the Easter 1916 rising, you would have seen IRA men in Irish volunteers, IRA men, old IRA men in the GPO wearing this. Um, it was a symbol. Then when the guerrilla war started pretty much in 1919 to 1920, you would not see this. But then when the Irish National Army or the Free State Army was formed, they adopted this back then as their cat badge. So it's been on and off the Irish Army's cap badge for nearly a century now at this stage. So it's commonly referred to as the FF cap badge because here in the centre you will see FF, Fianna Fáil. And what Fianna Fáil basically translates to is Fianna is an old Irish Gaelic word for army or warriors, right? And Fáil is destiny. So when you put those two words together, it's soldiers of destiny or warriors of destiny or army of destiny. Okay. So that's what the FF basically means. Now, this starburst that is around the outside here, that is an ancient Fianna symbol as well. Okay. That um, is where this derives from. This actual cap badge, or the, sorry, this actual starburst that's here in the centre of the cap badge, that actually has no meaning, it's just there to balance up the uh, badge from what I've read. And in here in the centre, you will see Ogluk Nahiran. And Ogluk Nahiran is Soldier of Ireland, is what that basically translates as. Now if you see here, um, that little scroll that is wrote in is actually a warrior's belt or a sword a sword belt and the buckle being closed here at the bottom means that you're forever bound as a soldier of Ireland so that's what that symbolizes so there's a quick history of the Irish Defence Forces beret and cap badge so if you like and are interested in the videos that we produce here at Shanahan Militaria Please give us a thumbs up, please like and share and subscribe. Thank you.